Hey guys, so a lot of people have been asking me how do I get my cooldown trackers in the middle of my screen like this. For this I use Tell Me When, which is an add-on and I'll leave a link to it down in the description below. Today I'll just show you a really quick guide on how to actually import this. I do have a guide on my Discord channel, but that's a written guide with a picture and a video guide is just gonna be 10 times easier to follow and uh, you won't get confused along the way, don't worry. So I'll show you real quick. This is how it looks behind the scenes. When you have it imported, this is how it should look when you're in a uh, fire mage spec. Um, you don't need to worry too much about all of this. It should work just fine whenever you import it. The only thing I will say is since I make this myself, uh, it's very tailored to my own character, which means that I won't be putting any items on that I don't use myself. So if you use something that's not Notorious Gladiator's Batch or Manifesto of Madness, if you use Balefire Branch, for example, this is not going to work. It's not going to show up. I'm not going to show you how to modify it in this video, because if you want to learn something, then you might as well just learn Uyghurs instead of Tell Me When, because it's a little bit outdated. Uh, but if you do use all of the same items, uh, you can use like Memory of Lucid Dreams, it is set up for that as well. Uh, but mostly it's restricted to things I have used or do use to this day. So this is how it looks, you do, won't need to charge anything, it should work as intended from the moment you import it. But it's just really important to show so you don't get confused whenever you see it. Alright, so now I'm going to show you how to actually import this. So you go to my Discord channel and I'll of course leave an invite link down in the description. My Discord channel is open for anyone. And then you go to Mage and then TMW. And then you'll get this up, this paste bin. And you just copy everything here. And then you log in to your Mage. I'm just going to log on to my second Mage because obviously I already have it imported on my main Mage. And then I'm just going to show you real quick how to import this. All right. So what you do from here is you do a slash TMW enter, and then you'll get this up. This is what you're going to see the first time you open up. Uh, Tell me when, and then you just right click on any of these black squares. Then you click on this black bar here and you can see that um, that this is blinking, which means it is selected. And then you do control V. And now all of the information you copied from the website is going to be in this box. Then you click on import, export, restore. Then you go under import from string profile element strain all. And then you just go down to create new profile. You can also do an, an override. It doesn't really matter, but I'll just, I always just go for the create new profile and then okay. And then all of this should be fixed. Now a few notes. As you can see, because I don't have any of the items, these ones do not work. And I'm missing half of the abilities because I'm not, because I'm not max level. Um, but that is kind of whatever. Just a few things I just want to show off before we go. If you um, get this one with you, um, then you can just um, you can just go, uh, go in here to group and then turn off the enabled. Because you won't ever need that. That was something I was uh, trying around with. And it still like uh, goes with the package for some reason. Um, then also if you don't have the infinite rune. This is the important one. If you do not have the infinite rune. Then this one is going to always show up. <laughs> so what I recommend doing. Is that you just need to right click on it. While you're in editor mode. And remember to get into editor mode. You just need to do slash tmw. And then you just go up here. And you turn off enabled. And boom, it's not there anymore. And then once you acquire the infinite room, then you can just go back in and you can just turn on enabled. And then it's back. And when you do have the rune, it's just going to light up with an activation border. And then once you click it, this vanishes and it only pops up once you have your rune off cooldown. And yeah, that's pretty much how you uh, import a tell me when. And with that, you can get your UI to look pretty much exactly like mine. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.